you wake up in the morning and you have a dream don't wait for miracle service no open your bible and let it is written collide with that vision listen what i'm teaching you will give you confidence so that you are not you, you don't you don't become a victim it's good to be blessed by men of god but be careful so that we don't turn you into spiritual slaves we are supposed to help you not trap you this is it you need this more than joshua selman can i tell you if you pay attention to this even more than joshua selman you will succeed this predates my arrival here many have come and gone this remains written many have said many things and have had to cancel it many people have made prophetic statements and how to honorably withdraw it but this has not been changed third foundational encounter encounter with the word of god is an indoctrination this is the reason why my spiritual experiences profit me and they profit the body because i will never exalt any vision i see no matter how many days fasting no matter what it is if a demon spirit appears to me right now the first thing is i'm going to why is it there you see if he's there to oppress me it is written can take care of it if god is trying to send a message to me for the body of christ i would discern the message when i'm done the demon will go but your confidence is it is written yeah do i walk through the valley of the shadow of death i fear no evil why because thou art with me listen thy rod and thy staff that's what comforts me thy rod and thy staff thy rod and thy staff so i want you to if you don't know what is written it means you are in trouble imagine if jesus did not know what was written and satan says turn this stone into bread he says don't disturb me i am jesus you'll be surprised satan will still be standing there that's why he has not left your life because when you came to him he said i'm a member of koinonia he said nonsense what is that what is your member of koinonia before you were born i knew about koinonia i was in heaven what is the basis why should i leave you <sighs> okay what else do i say now listen why should you rise in life apostle declared over me you are joking apostle declared according to what i prophesied but i did as i was commanded i didn't prophesy as i wanted john said i am the voice it is not the voice that brings the power it is the word that the voice is echoing are we together now please learn what i'm telling you some of you by this there are papers you need to go back home and tear into pieces and sit with confidence and sleep like a baby and wake up it is written it is written my 2021 is blessed it is written it is written it is written it's written why do you think you'll be exempted from all the limitations that come ah, i am a member of koinonia that that is wonderful when you understand it to be that i am prophetically connected based on what the bible says but if it's just blindly i'm a member of koinonia you will you will be surprised i'm saying this because there are many believers who do not have a scriptural basis for confidence satan leave me alone why I know apostle joshua selman and the demon will say jesus i know me too i know jesus me too i know paul me too i know joshua selman you have to stand and say you better know me too it is written register it in the realm of the spirit that it is written this is why i know that i will never fail in life 
thank God for the many visions that I have. But depending on those visions for success is deception. The visions are only guides. They are support systems. I tell you the truth by the God of heaven. The basis for the victory of my life. The basis for the victory of this ministry. Is this immutable counsel of God. It is written. It is written. It is written. So when I tell you, you will rise. Say amen, but don't just go back and say I will rise. No. When I say you will rise, quickly resort to this foundational encounter. Find the scriptures that support what I said. Then you will rise indeed. But if you just believe that just because I spoke to you, no. Are you seeing the balance now? This is why many of you do not profit from the prophetic ministry. The prophetic ministry is not fake. It is a genuine spiritual ministry. But just because an anointed man spoke over your life, just because he revealed and what he revealed was true, when he blessed you, your spiritual life went down because you had confidence that this man knows God. His word does not fail. But you ignore it is written. It is written, Kali Bakatasiata. It is written, when men say there is a casting down, for me, I will say there is a lifting up. So based on that, when I say in the name of Jesus, you are exempted from evil, as you are saying amen, your mentality is connecting that amen with this. That's what plugs it into the power line to produce results. Anything I tell you, don't just say amen. Connect it to a scripture. Then you can now say amen. Are we together now? When you wake up from a dream and you see me blessing you and praying for you, don't just dance and you saw me. Find a scripture. When you connect it to that vision, you are giving it life.